Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for June 15th through the 30th. So we're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Capricorn for, you know, the next couple of weeks in June? What do we have for Capricorn? One more card, please. What do we have? What do we have for Capricorn? Weeping Willow. Ooh. Family Sorrow. Happiness. Flowers. And bread. Period of prosperity and abundance. So, we have a period of prosperity and abundance. We have some family sorrow, and then we have some happiness. So, endings lead to new beginnings. So, something could be happening or surrounding your family that may make you sad. Um, could be, maybe you're getting an inheritance that makes you happy, you know? I mean, that's, I don't know where that's coming from, but you get family sorrow, then you have prosperity and abundance that makes you happy. Now, I'm not saying that that is the way to go or anything like that, but the cards could certainly suggest that. Um, now, there is some sort of sorrow. Crying, perhaps. Could be happy tears, even. But it looks like there's sadness, because sorrow means sadness. Um, but your your wealth should be increasing in some way, and maybe that's what makes you happy. Um, flowers, you know, maybe you're working in your flower beds. Maybe you're getting flowers, or um, something is happening that is is making you happy. So you know, there's there's usually two sides to every coin. So I think on one hand, there's some sort of family situation that is making you sad. But on the other hand, there is another part of your life where there is happiness. So uh, let's see what we have for Capricorn for for the end of June. Now, when you get family sorrow, somebody could be passing away. I'm, I mean, I mean, and it, or it could be a fight. It could be a family fight. It could be somebody leaving the home. Um, may have something to do with. I don't know. If it has something to do with a child or. A father or a family member or whatever it is. There's some sort of family sorrow. What do we got? The star reverse. Why is this happening? Why, 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 why? This is, um, there could be an illness, some sort of depression. Uh, why is this happening now? Your faith may be, be tested. There's a test of faith. Why is this happening? Nine of coins reversed. Now, not enjoying whatever this situation is. Whatever is happening. There could be financial pressure. A lack of abundance. Um, feeling weak. Somebody may be getting weaker. They're feeling weak. They can't take care of themselves. There's insecurities here. A lack of security. Instability. Um, now I'm not sure if it's you or somebody else that is that is not able to take care of themselves. The nine of coins reversed is somebody that needs to take action. There's a lack of discipline. Queen of Swords reverse. So somebody is dealing with an individual that is malicious. Okay, this is a malicious individual that, um, well, there could, and if it's not another individual, it could be you. There's bitterness here. There's revenge. There's bitterness. There's angry. There's hardness. There's uncaring. There's a lack of clarity. Anger. We have somebody here that ha is is angry. This person is angry. They're upset. They're hard to deal with. They may be very aggressive, extremely, extremely aggressive. Something is happening. Um, and the, the question is, why is this happening? And, and you may be asking that question. Why is this happening? When you get the queen of swords in reverse, there could be something to do with a stepmother 
or you know an ex or somebody that is is uh, not uh, what's this person this person is not immediate family okay this person is on the outskirts what do you call that person that per this person is the uh, outsider okay this is the outsider we have an outsider that may be causing problems may be very bitter very hateful not wanting to give, causing some sort of insecurities within you. This person is not happy with their own life, so they may be causing you some problems. Nasty individual, six of wands. Now this is fighting. There's been some sort of fight, but the fight is over. The war is over. The battle is over. But this person is still bitter. So there's some sort of bitter individual in your life that is not happy. Definitely not happy. Nine of one. This person is going to challenge you in some way. Very distrustful. Angry with the world. You are dealing with an individual that is an angry person. It could be a mother-in-law or, or a stepmother or somebody that married that you married into the family. It's an outsider. It's not your immediate family. Okay? Or it could be an ex. It could be your person's ex or something like that. It's definitely an outsider that is wants to win doesn't want to give, um, wants to be in charge, wants to have all the power. Now, this is an extremely challenging situation with the Nine of Wands reversed. This person refuses to compromise, has a chip on their shoulder, and, and is extremely prideful. Now, what's this? Nine and nine, nine, nine. So there's a lack of closure. It's hard to move on from this person because they have some sort of ties to you. Interesting. The sun, definitely not happy, no growth, sadness, poor logic, disillusionment, not honest. You are dealing with an individual that uh, is very unhealthy, insecure, unstable. But this is extremely challenged. Needing to set boundaries. You got a disagreeable person around you that doesn't want you to win. They don't want you to be victorious. This is an unhappy camper. They are going to be challenging you. Two of Cups. Something to do with a partnership, a union, uh, disharmony, trying to cause disharmony, trying to... Uh, break you up from something now there could be a separation that is coming you may be dealing with a bully yeah i think you are i think you have a bully here you have a bully that doesn't want you to be happy i don't know if you're dealing with a leo you could be dealing with an aries uh, you could be dealing with a libra gemini or an aquarius you have a, you have a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Or a Leo. This person is very unhealthy. Now, this is an unhealthy individual, perhaps, or an unhealthy energy. Somebody is unstable. So I'm not sure. And I don't know who it is. This person it, it is very hard to deal with. They have a huge chip on their shoulder. They're detached. There's a disconnection. There's a separation from this person. I feel like this person is very, very controlling. They're in a desperate situation. They may be ill. They're sick with that star card reverse. There's illness and with the sun reverse. There's some sort of illness here. And it, and it could be paranoia. It could be mental illness. 
But the Six of Wands is a card of a yes. It's victory. It's progress. It's winning. Winning something. What are you going to be winning? So this person wants to win something to do with a child, perhaps. Now the Page of Cups reversed is an unrequited love situation. There's a lack of emotion. Somebody may not be taking very good care of a child. Uh, the Page of Cups reversed. This is somebody. This is a, somebody's bubble being burst. An individual that is obsessed with their ind with their image. This is a drama queen. Very insincere, uh, not emotionally unavailable. You may be dealing with somebody who is really literally unavailable with the Queen of Swords reverse and the Page of Cups reverse. They are cold, 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 cold hearted. You're going to have to draw some boundaries by the looks of things. Somebody's bubble is about to be burst, and there could be an there could actually be an outburst. We have an unhealthy situation here. Somebody is very, very, very unhealthy. An unhealthy partnership, an unhealthy union. Somebody, this is like a broken marriage or something. Some of you may have been, I don't know if it's you or it's an ex or there's like a broken partnership here. And it feels like that other person won't give up. They won't give up. They're causing problems. They're bringing challenges. And you may be like, why is this happening now? Something is happening with this person. I think it's somebody from the past. Maybe that's where your family sorrow comes from. Maybe you're finally happy and this person is starting to cause some problems. Three of Wands, expect something. So you need to expect an arrival. Get ready, get prepared because something is coming. Now, the Six of Wands, is, it could be a protector. Maybe it's a child protector. I don't know what this is. But this is like, this is a somebody who is protective in protection and security of some sort. Get prepared. Get prepared for something. Get prepared for... And this is sad. Okay, it is something is sad with the Page of Cups reversed and the Sun card reversed. There's some sort of sad, unfortunately, separation. Okay, this is sad. It's, it is, okay? Somebody will want to turn that around and say, oh, it's still happy. Oh, it's not. So there's some sort of sad situation that is unfolding here that may be like, why is this happening? Why is this happening? And I think it's happening because whoever you're dealing with is unhealthy. They're insecure. They're unstable. They may have issues that stem back from their childhood. Maybe they, they have, have some problems. They have a self-image problem for sure. This person is very uncaring, very cold, not very lovable. This has to do with an extended family member or an ex that is not happy. They're not happy with your victory, you know, your success for some reason. Knight of Cups reversed. This is a very sensitive topic. It's a sensitive time. This person doesn't want your relationship to progress. They may not want you to um, take the power that they had away or something like that. Somebody may not be growing effectively. There's a relationship. Somebody's jealous. Temptation. This is the devil reversed. So somebody wants to take back control. They want the power. They want to be in control. Uh, this is this is uh, somebody trying to force themselves. Who 
they're trying to cause some sort of suffering. You are going to need to break free from this. We definitely have an unhealthy individual here who does not want to let go. They do not want to let go. There's a relationship that they do not want to grow. They don't want it to happen. We have an individual that is obsessed, extremely ex obsessed with control. Could be a mother, could be a mother-in-law, could be a stepmother, um, or an ex. This is, and, you know, this could be an accident of some sort. I'm not sure what the hell is happening. Knight of Wands, something happening very, very fast. Act now, think later. Something is going to happen all of a sudden that changes. It changes, something arrives. Get prepared for an arrival. Something is coming in very, very fast. May have something to do with the child. You may not be prepared for it. It comes sooner than you think. Why, why, why? You may not be ready. Get prepared. Get prepared. Um, Seven of Swords, you're dealing with a very sneaky individual. Very, very shady. Somebody that does not have your back. Somebody that is that is trying to persuade somebody to go in a different direction. Now this is a card of, of moving to a better place. Moving away from a disconnection, moving away from a false relationship. I feel what's happening is you are moving away or the person that you are with is moving away from something that is troublesome. And we have a meddler that is trying to stop it from happening. This person has their own motives. They don't want to lose control. They don't want to lose power. So they are going to do whatever it takes to uh, cause trouble. Cause trouble. So I think that you are dealing with a troublemaker. This person is very cold. They don't want the relationship to grow. They don't want somebody to be happy. And I feel like there's, there's some sort of... Uh, breakdown of some sort there's a breakdown there's there's a there's an individual that loses their their cool they lose their cool they lose their their ground And it feels like there's a shift of power. There's a shift of control. It may have to do with their child or your child or something like that. Somebody's moving. Somebody is moving to a better place. And there's an individual in the background that really, 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 really isn't happy. So you need to be prepared for this person to... Do whatever it takes to stop your relationship from growing with whoever it is that you are starting to be happy with. You're dealing with a very deceptive individual here. This person is a liar. This person is a troublemaker. 
and they don't want to lose the control and the power that they had over whoever it was that they had power over. So anyway, get prepared. Get prepared for this person to show up and cause problems. Uh, they have some tricks up their sleeve. Um, they may even, you know, tempt, tempt this person with something very, very, very alluring to get them to cheat or to get them to do something, you know, just, just to mess up their current relationship. So there's something going on here with an individual that, you know, wants to win at all costs. Um, this person has no shame. They have no morals and all they care about is themselves. So there is going to be a separation. Somebody is moving. Somebody is moving. And you are going to be dealing with a very bitter individual at the end of June. Good luck.